everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make a bunch of things. I know there's like a ton of ingredients. For this video, I was going to make you guys guacamole and my different versions of it. But then I figured I always eat my guacamole with pita chips, so why not show you how to make pita chips? So I'll separate it into two videos. But to start off with, I want to show you how to make homemade pita chips. Now, I don't know if you've ever had any. This is pita bread. They've become more popular in the recent years. And now they sell pita chips like you would buy like a bag of chips in a grocery store. But for like a tiny little bag, like a $5 worth bag, comes like maybe one or two bread worth of pita chips. So I figured I make this myself at home. Why not show you how to do it? You could save some money. You could do it yourself and customize it however you want. It'll probably taste better and you'll get more out of it. We only need a few ingredients. This is a pita bread. I'm only making one to show you, um, but you could do a ton at the same time. I have some garlic powder, totally optional. What you'll actually need is some salt, some pepper, and a little bit of oil. This is like a grape seed slash extra virgin olive oil, but you could use whatever you want. To start off with, you just need a knife. Cut your pita bread. Now these come in this size, which I don't even know how many inches that is, but uh, it comes in this size and sometimes it comes smaller depending on which one you buy will be depending on how you want to cut them. Sometimes I cut them in strips or little squares or little triangles. It doesn't really matter. So as you can see, I don't really care how I'm doing this. I just want to make them big enough to get, you know, a good decent amount of dip with them. So cut them into equal size strips. And this is so incredibly easy to make. You guys will wonder why you've spent this much time and money buying it from the grocery store. So uh, I don't know if your grocery store has these pita chips available, uh, pita bread available, um, but these are the typical ones I buy. These are the actual what pita breads like. And you could make them yourself. Maybe I'll do a video on that sometime. But buy them from the store, you get a bunch for a few dollars and you could make as much or as little as you want. I just always have them on hand, so it's convenient for me. Now grab a little tray. Um, I'm only doing one small portion. So if you want to do a bunch, like let's say for a party, all you need to do is use a cookie sheet and have some parchment paper on the bottom or a silicone mat. You just want to put your chips in here and I'm figuring I'm gonna overcrowd, but that's fine. Drizzle some oil over them. I usually use olive oil. Today is the olive oil grapeseed because that's just what I have on hand right now. I ran out of extra virgin olive oil. Add some salt, this is to taste. Some cracked pepper, this is to taste as well. And occasionally I like to add a little bit of garlic powder, just the tiniest amount because you can't really tell it's garlicky, but it adds a nice little background flavor. Mix them with your hands. This kind of evenly coats all of them with the oil, salt, and pepper so that you're not, a, um, you know, one of them just completely dries out and the others are beautifully golden and crispy. You can also add some cayenne pepper to this. You could add some paprika. But this is a good standard basic version where you could enjoy this with guacamole, you could enjoy this with hummus, um, a bean dip, you name it. It's a good substitute for chips. So try to do a single layer. And when you do this on a cookie sheet, which I probably should have done, but it's totally okay because I have something in the oven. I did not want to intermingle my baking, but um, lay this in one sheet on a cookie sheet will be far easier, I'll tell you that. And then you're just going to toast them. It's going to take a few minutes, you could put them under the broiler if you want. And they'll get nice and crispy. I'll tell you how long this takes, but mine, I'm going to do it in a little toaster oven. I typically do this, I know you guys are like, you should have made a Mother's Day video. This is a Mother's Day video, my mom loves to eat this, I make it for her all the time. And if ever I don't make her 
I don't make enough for everybody. She's always mad that I'm not making her some as well. So go ahead, do what I'm doing right here with your entire tray, however big you make it. And then we're going to go put this in the oven. I'm gonna just set it to 350 degrees, put it in there for a couple minutes. You could just give it a really quick toss uh, halfway through. Uh, just keep an eye on it, you'll understand. It's like toasting bread, so you'll understand. It's not gonna get like a golden dark brown, but you'll get the idea of how toasted it should be. I'll give you my approximate time when I come back. But um, I like to just go in there after like two, three minutes and just shuffle them around. I don't like twist them and make lay them down perfectly straight. Like I don't go each one one by one. I just shuffle them with my hands or tongs. And I will show you what that looks like when I get back. Here is my delicious, absolutely gorgeous amazing combination of homemade pita chips and guacamole uh, now if you're watching the pita chip video go check out the guacamole video if you're watching the guacamole video go check out the pita chip video so these are the pita chips I just made delicious and crispy and yummy um, and the best part about it is is that it goes perfectly with the guacamole I just made, which is this, I just made it right now. Um, I already ate a ton of this, that's why you can see it's reduced in quantity, but I will try it just for you guys. A little bit of cilantro. So there it is, amazing! Okay. I mean, I don't need to tell you again how good this is. I mean, I can't, I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, but it's so good. It's like salty and lemony and that avocado is buttery. If you're, if you're eating a good avocado, you're eating a buttery, delicious avocado. <laughs> but please go ahead, try the pita chips. Took me five minutes, guacamole took me another five, and in ten minutes you have like a killer appetizer. Absolutely delicious. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this video and my channel, and I will be showing you guys how to make an appetizer with this guacamole, in case you have leftovers, which will never be the case. But please check that out too. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!